Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. We're playing a legendary Iron Man difficulty, as you know by now, and it is time for another mission in month number seven. This is truly kind of a month of clash between us and the aliens. Uh, the difficulty spike on the one hand side is trying to like wash over us. On the other hand side, I just simply refuse to give in and bang my heads with the aliens on every single occasion just constant pressure 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 so uh, that's why we have a lot of missions going guys anyways this time we're ready to counter hidden event we got a good squad going for us Eltrana is leading it we got um, ghost as an assault uh, shrink as a specialist we got a ranger a sharpshooter and a grenadier Mainly mid-level um, soldiers, but Eltrana will probably lead this here uh, to victory. The only thing that we need to do is recover an item from a train. So it's straightforward. Let's get going right away. And we have just landed. Look at that. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent date of all near your position. Be advised. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. So this is just a, a plain vanilla mission to like move alongside this train. There is no high ground. It's very limited optionality over here. Although we might want to do that. And unfortunately, it'll mean that we will just need to really get going and move alongside the train. Volk says I am to obey. Trana moves in. Yeah, I, this is probably not a bad spot for a sniper. But to be honest, this is not a bad spot either. Affirmative. Moving out. We just need to have good aiming angles. Might as well steady the weapon. Um, oh, there's high ground over here. So my, maybe just maybe we are taking the sniper onto the other side. You know what? Let's do that. Rolling out. Moon up. And we got some tough enemies over there. Interesting. Let's do this. So yeah, certainly I think that we could do that, but we need to get the sniper into a better position. And nine rounds is not a lot. Probably should have moved the sniper way more aggressively into that direction. Well, it is what it is now. Oh wow, we got another pack over here. Hmm. This is going to be a, an interesting mission overall. Let's try to move up and see where this is going. Activating Ghost Walker. Okay, we could certainly blow this thing here up. Heading 
going to that location. Yeah, we... It's, by the way, an interesting start. But I think with uh, remote start we can even deal or inflict more damage. Double time. Moving over. Already there. So it took us a pretty long time to just get into position, which means next turn onwards we gotta go. There is no more waiting. Two Archons. Well, that's pretty rough. You cannot run. This here, on the other hand, would be a great starter. I like it. So, just out of curiosity. Fortunately, I can't really scroll far enough away to see if that would hit ourselves. It appears. Um, it appears so. So, really like the idea of that start. Which means I would want to go a bit further back. We can still remote start from here. Watch closely. And <laughs> that just very much blew the cover. Good, gotta be careful with that unit. And we know there is another pot over here. Rapid deployment. So we're making ourselves known. This means they are most likely not going to run away. But simply stay where they are. As so often, the game just teaches me, Saiken, you are just wrong. Starting with a Viper. Unsuccessful. Heading out. Moving up. Fortify. Double barrels. This might be significant damage, or instead of like 20 plus crit, it just deals almost no damage. Ninety percent shot missed. Oh, this is a clown fiesta at best. I'm going. Got to deal with this guy. Fortifying our position. Come on, let's kill him. <laughs> I 
I, I don't know what to say. We are missing such crucial shots. We're going to get a pretty significant retaliation now that we couldn't kill the pack. Blazing pinions? No. Just stop a movement. Well, that's good. Single movement? Oh, not, not so bad. F you. They really caught us off guard. Good, we got some strong some strong moves here. Five more hit points, I think we can we can kill him. It's probably not enough. Entering the shadows. Moving as ordered. Let's move up. Alien scouting party. You know, I mean, blowing this one up wouldn't be too bad, but we're standing completely in the open, so I don't like that at all. Plus, these guys here seem to be on the hunt. Really hard to tell if they are not just charging into us, and I don't want to lose concealment again. So let's hide for now. There's the objective. We know that they are too far away to oh. spot us out. So this uh, there's going to be an overwatch and that's about it. We still got a pack with the Archon. We got that pretty heavy pack uh, of Advents, and we got another pack of an Andromedon, which we have scouted out earlier. Okay, so they are moving away, which is great. There's an, yet another pack here. Oh my gosh. Hum. Got to be careful on this side. Oh, 
All right, dropping down into the canal. Which is an interesting proposition. It almost says, hey, let's kind of go through the entire canal and pop out on the other side. Yeah, let's hit this. Which means we're abandoning this side here. And instead we're just playing alongside the canal and try to get the objective. And this here should be good line of sight for us. It's not a trivial mission. I mean, just the hit point size again of the enemy packs makes it difficult. You don't want to have a lot of ads. Reinforcements are soon going to join us, which doesn't make the situation easier. Ghost Walker. I'm on the move. The target is marked. Okay, we got a pack right here. And this might be even a kill. Very nice. Moving on target location. We don't want to pull another pack. At the same time, we need to do something about its armor. That'll take care of it. Great. Yeah, we probably will need to move all the way up up to there. using it for movement for now. Shotgun doesn't have the range to do anything. Can't really compete at this level, uh, at this range. But we can overwatch. Wow, a lot of enemies. Not sure if they know, if the enemy knows where we're at. Yep, the enemy very much knows where we're at. Not even a question. Luckily, we're immune against acid. Elsewise, this would have sucked, like, a lot. Ooh. 
Ooh, we can't fully reach it. Well, let's go. That's an interesting situation. Dragon Army needs to deal with the reinforcement cells, otherwise this here is going to get out of hand. Again, yeah, not a hundred percent sure if they know where we are at, but from the looks of it, the answer is quite clear. We're rapid deploying a flashbang. That'll buy us some more time. And now let's take some cover position. We're definitely in the worst position overall uh, because we're fighting from low ground with limited cover against high ground with full cover. So needless to say that we are the ones who have taken the short end of the stick here. So, uh, what's our heck here? Yeah, the downside is too, uh, too hard, elsewise I would have even considered doing it. Let's try to stun him. I know the chance isn't particularly great. There isn't really much else we can do at the moment. If we move too close uh, to the north uh, side, those guys will add. There's no cover down here, nothing. That's really just no good play. It's an extremely dry situation, for the lack of a better word. So I guess what I'm going to do is move over here and then next turn move over there. It's not a great spot to be in, guys. I don't like where this is going. We've maneuvered ourselves in a pretty pitiful situation. Need to take care of the Hunter Drone. Bit of a waste because we could have killed others. A 
Gosh, this is going to suck. Overwatch. Okay. Well, the good news is that was a strategic mistake. So my only question is, can we hit that from, let's say, here? Yes, we can. The reason why I want to do that combination, besides, of course, getting rid of all of the cover is, because now we can theoretically use Jammer to prevent the reinforcements from happening. Let's get the officer down first. That's right. Next up, run and gun, fortify. This here is as close as we can get. Free reload and rapid fire the hell out of him. Nice one. Good job. Yeah, we're going to use the jammer. And we're moving as far to the crate as, potent uh, as humanly possible, even though that means the mech can, or the shell can theoretically attack us. Shit happens. Menace one five, you're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. Moving up here, that should be far enough to hack the actual chest. Very nice. Accessing system. All right, we're going to go for additional alloys. That makes sure we are done with the mission. We, of course, cannot just let him stay in the open.
All right, the one thing that we would want to do is definitely get him back. Uh, to get our specialist back down. So we're reloading. And let's head on, hand over a command. Back into full cover. Dynamite reloads, overwatches. Got another overwatch here. And the reinforcements are coming in. If we're lucky and we hit both of our overwatch shots, this might be a kill. Yep, there we go, good job. We're healing ourselves. Just out of curiosity, we could use one of those. might be able to take it over. The answer is, of course, nope. So this is going to trigger the overwatch, lightning reflexes means it's going to miss. And that's a pretty solid kill. Moving up here to take overwatch shots as needed. Which is calling another backup uh, to here once the evac request um, has gone through. Alright, steadying the weapon. Okay, since more reinforcements are coming, I'm just wondering. Two turns and everyone should be out of here. It done. So might as well use uh, that for our advantage. Alright, next turn everyone can simply move out and we're done. No need to overstay our welcome. Let's 
specifically as you can see the reinforcements are getting stronger so Good, again we can conclude, although we had a pretty strong overall pack here. Although we can conclude, uh, conclude that we had a pretty strong team. So I think fair to say that uh, there is a noticeable increase in enemy hit points. And that's pretty much across the board. Go, go, go. Absolutely. No need to ask twice. Rolling. I am at your service. Great Archon, minus 30 defense. This guy is almost in full cover the entire time. What a joke. And mind you, we need our entire squad. And not even that is really enough to fully bring him down. Every single shot hit. And they hit for quite quite a uh, sizable amount. But this guy still is standing with two hit points. Yeah, we need better weapons, guys. It's quite clear the game kind of forces you. It's almost like a DPS check. Either you have the good weapons and then you're fine, or you don't have the good weapons, in which case you're fucked.